Hello and welcome to Mint. I'm Sunira Tandon. Today we have with us Mr. Joydeep Bhattacharya, Head of Consumer Products and Retail Practice at Bain & Company. We are here at the Luxury Conference today. Uh, Joydeep, your presentation uh, raised some very pertinent questions regarding the luxury market in India. Uh, you mentioned that the growth of the luxury market has not caught up with the growth of H&Is in India. Uh, could you give some reasons as to why that has happened? So I think the, the, two, the two key uh, factors that we see which has uh, you know, not helped realize the potential that, that seems to be there is really the extent of investments made by luxury brands, both in terms of creating uh, the right retail uh, environment and in terms of the investments that they've made in awareness creation, getting the right products and, you know, making sure that they are addressing the market with the right price points. So to us, it's really, uh, you know, these two factors in terms of the extent of investment by the luxury brands uh, which has kind of constrained the growth of the market uh, because we do believe, uh, you know, as you said, that there is uh, inherent potential far in excess of what the market figures uh, t you know, today would suggest. Absolutely. So what can luxury brands do to attract this aspirational uh, consumer class that, according to the report, is still not targeted and not, uh, they're not doing enough marketing activities per se? So what can the brands uh, particularly do? So I think first and foremost, I mean, uh, there are really two key things. One is to make sure that... Uh, you are providing the right product service experience uh, to get you know products which are relevant for the uh, target consumer segment make sure that you are at the right price point for them so that that's really in terms of getting the the right product portfolio second is to be innovative in terms of your approach to retail uh, now there is a shortage of the kind of retail environment that uh, brands have experienced abroad uh, but it is, I think, time to be innovative, go out into hybrid malls, uh, look at converting some heritage buildings into retail, uh, into the right kind of retail for you. So product and retail, I would say, are the two key factors. Absolutely. And also, um, you said that 10 years from now, there will be a shift in the consumer uh, profile, basically. Uh, the the uh, wealthy traditional rich will probably shift to more aspirational. Uh, is that sort of happening right now or will it take some time? It's happening as we speak. Uh, but, you know, over the next uh, 10 years, as you see uh, the growth in the number of h &Is, more and more of them will come from what we are calling the professionals as well as from the first generation entrepreneurs. So. Absolutely. So going forward, what will be the key uh, drivers for growth uh, to sort of, you know, uh, push the luxury market ahead? So I, I think at a minimum, there's got to be a more favorable regulatory environment uh, than one that's there right now. There's got, there has to be far more availability of the right kind of infrastructure. Uh, but that's like a necessary, not a sufficient condition. What's really going to help realize the potential in this market is, again, going back to making sure that uh, the right luxury brands make the appropriate investments in awareness, in retail, in generating, uh, you know, uh, generating demand. Uh, that's what's really going to help uh, realize the potential in this market. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your insights. That's all we have for you. Keep watching.